If you're struggling with morning sickness, you have to try my homemade ginger tea. You're just gonna love it. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a fertility and prenatal dietitian. So today I want to show you how to make my homemade ginger tea. So I'm sure that you will have heard that ginger is fantastic when it comes to morning sickness. And, but what I find is that most people tend to turn to capsules or maybe a ginger tea off the shelf. Whereas you can actually make your own, it's going to save you money and it's going to be much fresher and you're actually going to get more of those natural antioxidants that make all of the difference when it comes to decreasing your nausea. So it's super simple. All you need is a saucepan, some water, some ginger and some lime. So to start off, um, for every cup of ginger tea that you want to make, you literally need one cup of water into your, into your saucepan. Now, um, although you could just make one cup for now, I'd actually recommend making a couple of cups because it actually uh, fr goes quite well into the, into the refrigerator. So I'm gonna make two cups today. There we go, pop in my second cup of water um, and that way, you've got some for later rather than needing to make it absolutely fresh this very minute. So once we've got our two cups of water there, or you could even do three or four cups if you want to. Um, now the recommendations is I probably wouldn't have any more than probably three cups a day of this as a maximum. And you wanna make sure that you spread them throughout the day to get the maximum ginger benefits or anti-nausea benefits. So once we've got our water, we literally want to cut up um, our ginger. Now with ginger, you can buy this fresh from oh, all over the place these days. So from any supermarket or maybe an Asian grocer or something along those lines. Um, now you do want to, oh, it smells so good. Uh, so we do want to just cut the, get rid of this, the, the, um, the skin. Now you can use a spoon or something to do that if you want to. Um, I'm just cutting it off uh, because it's quicker and easier to be honest. Uh, so I'm just going to cut this off and then what we want to do is that we want to make sure that we cut it up as finely as possible. And that's why I've got the grater here, is you can actually grate it if you prefer, or you can finely cut it, whichever is gonna be easiest for you. This just smells so yummy. All right, now in terms of portion size, um, basically you want about one tablespoon per cup of water. So um, from, one standard ginger root, usually you'll get about two tablespoons. Um, so you can see here, I'm just going to slice it up really thinly, as thin as I can. So the basically the thinner that you slice it, the more surface area you're going to have, and therefore the faster it's going to cook. So I'll just slice that up there. Great. Oops, get that bit off. And then simply pop it into our saucepan. And then we want to just um, put it onto the boil and then simmer it, usually for about, oh, I would say about 20 minutes. The longer that you simmer it, the more of the nutrients that you're gonna get out of the ginger, so the better. But obviously you need to be careful that you don't, uh, like that you are simmering and that you're not actually boiling it over um, and that you're not boiling it dry as well. So simmer that um, and then when it's ready, it's simply a matter of pouring it into your mug. Now the other little tip 
that I want to give you is some fresh lime. Now the benefit of the fresh lime, so really we just need a couple of lime slices. So I probably would recommend about three slices per cup. And once you've got it all heated up, so two to three per cup, I'm just gonna do two for today. So I'm gonna go and put this on the stove though. We'll come back to the lime and uh, I'll be with you in just a tick. Great, so this has been simmering now for about 20 minutes. So now what we wanna do is uh, strain it out. Now you can use a proper strainer or you can be a slacker like me and I'm just gonna pour it straight into my mug. Oh, this smells so yummy. And you'll find that even the smell of it will help to alleviate your nausea. Then I'm just going to pop in my couple of slices of lime. Now you'll be pleased to know that lime has got three benefits uh, for our ginger tea. So one is that it will just make it, uh, it will add a bit of sweetness to our ginger tea because obviously ginger is not that sweet. Um, so in terms of taste, the, the, the lime will really help there. Secondly, the antioxidants are great for pregnancy. And thirdly, even the smell of lime um, actually helps to alleviate nausea in and of itself. So the lime itself will help with your nausea as well. So just pop that in and then you've got your lovely cup of ginger tea. Enjoy. Now make sure if you haven't done so already that you download my free pregnancy meal plan. Just go to www.melaniemcgrice.com slash pregnancy and let me know if you have any further questions in the comments box below. Make sure you subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video.